Good hit. Buddy of mine, Derek, invited me to go on a moose hunt up in Alaska. And I thought it'd be once in a lifetime thing. So we thought we went up there. It was a struggle getting in and a struggle getting out. We took horses up, but we saw some things you can never see anywhere else in the world. We saw uh, grizzly bears, moose. He heard, we even heard some wolves. He was hearing them every day up there. We had a blast. Most of the days we were, we get up about, you know, a little after daylight, climb up on our hill there to uh, see what we could see. We could, uh, in some wide open territory, we just, you know, had a good time. And it didn't take long. We were sort of glad we was up on the hill, separated a little bit, because after a few days in the bush, you get to smelling a little bit on, you know, as long as I was uh, upwind of him, I was doing pretty good. Didn't want to be downwind after a few days. It uh, it does sort of get to a little raunchy. We we hunted, gosh, about two and a half weeks. Derek saw one one more early one morning, and after about a three-hour calling, he got the big moose to come in. Had uh, four brow tines on each side. We were about 400 and something yards away. Good hit. He's down. I aim for the neck. Congratulations, buddy. I said, I moose, you called him in. <laughs> that, oh, well, that is amazing, isn't it, that I called him in? <laughs> well, yeah. <that'd> be... <laughs> We called him from clear on the top of that hill up there. It's been about three hours. We got, we spotted him way up there, called him down in, and he took his time. Come through, boy. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Kiss. <Yeah>. Night force. <laughs> How far away? Precision. Four. 442. He sure looks a lot farther than that. Well, that brush. That brush disappeared. He di he completely disappeared in that brush. Oh, four power. I, I pointed that out to you. I could see him good. I wasn't worried. <laughs> he shoots it with five power out of 32 power. The airport's about, or the runway, I should say, is about four miles that way right there at the base. We're about 30 miles from the U.S. border and another 20 miles of hell back to <laughs> civilization. But it don't matter now. My gosh, what a big animal. <laughs> four brow times on both sides. That doesn't happen. It usually goes four and two or four and three. That's a nice bull. And of course, there's the doll sheep that are up there. Had a, made a beautiful shot on the animal. And uh, just had, I can't believe how big they are. They're just flat out awesome. Derek done a fine job. We had the horses there. We pack the meat out. We, we got it all done. And uh, 
is something you're not going to do in an hour or two. It takes some effort. But you talk about eating. My goodness, the, the meat was just delicious. And it was wild blueberries all over the place. It's in the mountains every morning with clouds up on it, sun coming across, and you can see the doll sheep up there. It's one in a lifetime experience. We really had a good time. Had a, a couple of dogs with us for uh, to help run the bears or the, the wolves keep them at bay. But uh, we really had a blast. Everybody ought to do it at least once.